Using the reduce method gives you a very powerful and efficient ways to manipulate arrays in JavaScript. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily use the reduce method to manipulate your arrays and then you can say bye to for loops. So how does the reduce method works in JavaScript? You see, the reduce method is used to apply a function to each element in an array cumulatively reducing the array to a single value. So let's say we have an array of numbers like so and we want to sum up all the elements in this array using the reduce method. Let's create a variable to store the sum. Let's call it total because then let's call the reduce method on our array name which is numbers. So the reduce method takes two arguments, a callback function and an initial value. Let's put the initial value to be zero. The callback function also takes two arguments. The first one is the accumulator, which will be the accumulated value from the last call to the function. And the second argument is the current value, which is the current element being processed in the array. So our callback function will return the sum of the accumulator and the current value and here we've initialized our initial value to be zero. So in each iteration, the accumulator is updated with the sum of itself and the current value until all the elements have been processed and the final accumulated value will be returned. Let's console log our variable to see the result. There you go. Here's our total sum. You can also use the reduce method on array of objects or string. The basic syntax and idea is still the same. Let's see a quick example. Let's create an array of cells, data, or multiple products like so. So all we need to do here is to use the callback function to access the properties of the objects in the array in order to perform operations on their value. Let's calculate the total cells for all products. So if you notice here, the idea is pretty the same. The reduce method takes a callback function that adds the cells property of the current value object to the accumulator and an initial value of zero. On each iteration, the accumulator is updated with the sum of itself and the sales property of the current value object until all elements have been processed and a final accumulated value is returned, which is the total sales for all products. Now, let's console log our total sales. There you go. Now let's see how we can use the reduce method on array of strings. But when using the reduce method on array of strings, the callback function operates on the individual character of the strings. For example, let's say we have an array of string representing a list of words. We can use the reduce method to concatenate all the words into a single string like so. So here, the reduce method takes a callback function that concatenates the accumulator and current value strings with a space in between. On each iteration, the accumulator is updated with the concatenated string of itself and the current value until all elements have been processed and a final accumulated value is returned, which is the concatenated string of all the words. Let's console log our sentence variable now. There you go, the two words are now joined together. I hope you found some value in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you like the content. That will go a long way. Cheers and I will see you in the next one.